Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a quick unboxing video for you today as well as a updated tips and tricks video of how to stock hard to get Louis Vuitton items. So as you can see here, I've laid out a few items that I've purchased recently over the last or six months or so. And if you haven't checked out my previous video on tips and tricks on how to get those hard to find items, I suggest that you take a look at that one first because I think most of the tips in that video would still apply. But with my more recent purchases, I have um, kind of discovered a few more tricks and tips uh, that I would like to share with you as well. So one of the items, I'll just open it here and um, it's relatively hard to get, but I do feel like it's um, it has, I've seen it quite a few times online recently. Um, so let me open it first and then we can chat. So no surprise here, obviously Louis Vuitton item. I like how the boxes are really easy to be, like if you ever need to do a re return or anything like that, they, they are designed for that purpose. So I do find these quite useful. So every time I get something, I just do wanna take a look at the receipt first. So, yeah, everything looks good. So one thing I've noticed is, I think if you follow my previous um, videos, is that they stopped using uh, ribbons since COVID started. So they have stopped, I, I assume for safety and um, safety purposes. So they, they don't um, give out ribbons for that reason. But recently they start doing that again. And they also attach this very cute thank you card. It's a blank card that you can like write whatever you want in it but that's all um, coming back again in some of the, the last two purchases I've made. I think I've seen the ribbon with the purchase, which is great. And again, here's just a box, nothing else inside. And voila, it's this beautiful pochette accessoire or accessory. And this one is made in France. It's very beautiful it looks good the stitching looks okay on the chatter tab there and um inside it comes with this vachetta strap which i like with the gold clubs actually kind of nice I think at one point I felt like these hardware color don't really match, but it seemed to be matching well here. So maybe they've changed that, I'm not sure. And then also one of the default that often happens with this bag is there's generally sometimes a crack here, but this one looks good. And inside, if you're familiar with the pochette, inside here there's the one divider and here they included the product tags. They always have these when it comes. I've noticed some of the product tags um, actually list out the, um, the serial number, but not all of them does that. So this one, it says um, the code is MB4210. So it's made in the 41 week of this year. So that's pretty cool. It looks really nice. Um, the line seems to be not that fitted to the bag. And I don't know if that's normal or not, but I think it's generally looking quite nice. And it looks quite big, actually, bigger than I kind of remembered from my previous one. But it's very cool, very beautiful. This tab supposed to, like you can use as a bachetta, so shoulder strap, um, which I'm not gonna attempt to do it because every time you stretch out this this bachetta here, it's actually pretty hard to um, 
get to get the clubs through every time i try that it seems very like challenging but i will i will look at that later so um like i mentioned this is to show you guys what i've acquired recently and how i got acquired them actually while i have it i'm just gonna put it on with my monogram strap to show you guys how it looks because I do plan to basically only use it with my monogram strap anyways. So this is what it looks like. And I feel like with my mini, mini P, I could almost look like the multi pochette. I haven't tried it out yet, but I might try that with a little, with a little key pouch or something like that. Um, but I really love this monogram strap and it's also one of the hard to get items. So uh, I'll do a very quick recap of how I um, like the tips that I've given in my previous um, previous video, which is um, you need to set up a Louis Vuitton account, which you haven't already. I would think if you're hoping to purchase something, you would have already have an account. Once you have an account, the next thing you need to do is create a wish list. So in your wish list, you can have all the things that you want, you know, the Nano Speedy, um, the pochettes. Uh, I'm a monogram fan, so so far mostly it's monogram, but I do track things like um, the Dami Azure, Dami Ebden key pouches and mini pochette because they tend to give you an indication of when the monogram pieces might come in as well. So um, I have a bunch of stuff in there. And then once you start tracking them or stocking them regularly, you will start to notice some patterns. So I would say once in a while they do randomly restock. So you would see things showing up randomly throughout the day. However, there's generally a few times during the day that they restock. So I would say uh, in the morning, it's generally like 11, 11 to 11 15 and onwards so 11 to 11 30 again i should say uh, i live in canada with the eastern time zone so um so if you're in the same time zone as me you should check the website around 11 to 11 30 and then in the afternoon it's around 2 30 to 3 so i know i'm like making the range a little bit bigger but i feel like they generally peak around like 10 past 11 that's when they will start and then it keeps going for a little while on different items so if you're really keen then do track during those half hour in the afternoon is 2 uh, 30 to 3 and then at night is from 8 to 8 30 and then i think they do another restock around 11 p.m to 11 30 p.m so those are the key time frame i would say when something gets restocked I do see sometimes more frequent restock. Like yesterday, I was looking around 6 p.m. and all the mini pochettes were available. So they do sometimes come a bit randomly, but those are the general timelines. And I will mention in my description below as well, just so you have those as a reference. Um, another thing is if you don't have a PayPal account, have a PayPal because that will really help you with a speedy checkout. Um, don't attempt to add too many things into your card at once because when you try to proceed to check out, if you have one thing that's no longer available, then you're stuck at that step and they won't let you proceed any further until you have everything available in your cart. So if there's one item that you're really keen on getting, just try to order that piece first and then go back to the other ones later. So um, what else? So the, those are some of the kind of the tricks that I've mentioned in my previous Video, so please do check out that video to get more details on how I acquired each pieces and all the details there um, But I would say the new trick or how I'm getting basically everything I need right now um, Is by calling them so for a while like when I was trying to stock the website and all that I did try to call them many many times and every time I call them the answer has always been you need to have a purchase history um, you know, we can put in a request for you, but it's not guaranteed. Um, you know, like only certain customers can make those requests on mini pochettes or nano speedy and all that, um, all that explanation. Every call agent seems to have a different answer. So some will they'll say they can put in a request, but you won't get it. Or some will say we can't do any requests or some will just say there's no availability period and there's nothing they can do. So like I'm getting different answers from people and 
recently I've been calling them and then there are agents who can simply just place an order for you which is kind of crazy because I'm like how does that happen so apparently you call you you call them they will send you a link to purchase into your email account you just click on it within an hour and then you can continue to purchase um, what happens though is once you you have to put a payment in right away and then you have to wait for the product to become available but whenever it does come available it will be yours right away so it's kind of guaranteed you will get it before anyone else is able to purchase online so that's why sometimes you don't even see like the mini cushion ever but someone else is able to get it because they've basically prepaid and pre-ordered um in advance so um keep trying to call once you find that agent it's possible to constantly go back to the same agent um, if you have a relationship with them uh, sometimes they don't do that but it depends on who you're talking to uh, you might be able to get an agent where you can just continue to place the order through that one person um, so there's different options another tips I would say in my which I've mentioned in my previous video as well is to set up account in uh, purse forum and on the purse forum there is a uh, post called what are you stocking today in there there are different all different people trying to look for a specific item on the Louis Vuitton website and in there you can get a lot of tips as well just ask the question ask an item you want ask for a name of a call agent or an SA who's able to place order for you so just ask a question and you never know who might be able to uh, provide you with more information so that's also a very helpful resource um, that I find um, lastly, I think um, the one thing I, I also recently found out is you're actually able to find a uh, sales associate Instagram uh, account. So if you look for Louis Vuitton sales associate or Louis Vuitton or on Instagram, do a Google search, I don't know, but you're able to maybe find a sales associate near you, even if you don't have a boutique in your, in your city, like I don't have a boutique in my city, but if I can find one in a nearby location, they actually are able to track things down from their boutique and send it to you as well. So that is another option for you. So don't give up and don't give in and start paying those hyped up reseller um, prices because you know there are so many ways that you can uh, work to get these items and buying directly from Louis Vuitton is always buy better than buying from another person. So um, I would encourage you to try those tips and tricks and I'm very happy to answer any questions you may have. I hope this video is helpful and I really hope that you find the item that you want in the near future. And if you have any questions or um, would like me to do a more specific review on any of these items, please let me know and I will be happy to do one for you. Thanks again and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.